talk about everything that I got, what I paid for it, and what I expect to get for it in my Etsy shop. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Out on the table here, we have everything from yesterday's shopping trip with Sue. We got quite a few goodies despite being late to the thrift shops. I kind of half expected everything to be picked clean, but as you can see, we made out all right. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> I made a couple mistakes in this haul, unfortunately. I got a little carried away um, with some Ray Dunn pottery. So let's talk about that first. We're gonna talk about everything that I got, what I paid for it, and what I expect to get for it in my Etsy shop. So, the Ray Dunn right here. Now, <laughs> I saw the Ray Dunn, and I'm familiar with it to the extent that I know some of it is worth money and some of it is not. Unfortunately, I was in a rush to get checked out and I was just grabbing it because it was right on a table as I was checking out. In the middle of checking out, I, I noticed it. So I'm like half checking out, half looking at the plates and just grabbing the stuff that I thought, okay, these are the big skinny letters, this stuff is worth money, I think. And I was just frazzled and grabbing stuff. I paid $6 for the Hope dish. It's worth maybe $10 to $12. <laughs> I paid $5 for Excellent. Again, $10 to $12. Um, I paid $4 for Calm, $10 to $12, right there. And I paid $4 for Woof. Again, $10 to $12 on those. <laughs> I hate admitting my mistakes to you, but I do it all the time, don't I? Um, hey girl, <laughs> this bowl right here, paid $4 for this. It's worth probably $8 to $10. And last but not least, this appetizer little hors d'oeuvre tray right here, paid $8 for this. Wasn't looking at the prices when I was grabbing this stuff, obviously, because I probably would have left that behind if I had seen the price. Um, that sells for about 20 So, I'm going to be making my money back on it, but it's going to be such a hassle to ship it that it's like, ugh, like, I'm making my money back, but I have to go through all this work of, like, bringing it home, and then I have to, like, pack it, and I have to list it, and it's just, like, it's such a hassle. I wish I would have left it there and not had to deal, deal with it, but I got some Ray Dunn pottery at the thrift store. I think I did pretty good, so... If you do come across it, make sure that you're buying the stuff that's worth money and not the stuff that's not worth money like I did. Big mistake. But anyway, let's move on to the stuff that is worth money. Okay? That sounds like a plan. Um, moving right along, let's talk about these canister sets. Um, everyone went crazy for the last time I bought these canister sets. And it was funny because we were at the same thrift store and <laughs> I saw the canister sets. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, you know, I could have swore that I bought the flour and sugar from that set, but here they are on the shelf again. So maybe I didn't buy them. And, and then I went home and I filmed my haul video for when I did buy them. And I'm like, no, I definitely bought them because right over there on the floor is this sugar and flour from this exact set. So now I have sugar and flour and then I have a complete set with the coffee and the tea. So... For everyone who had been emailing me, I love the canister set, I need it, I need it, I need it. I've got more. <laughs> and I paid $11 for the canister sets. I'm probably gonna ask like for 35 to, well, I'm probably gonna ask 45. I was gonna say 35 to 45, but I'm probably gonna ask 45 for these. Um, I am gonna clean them up like the other ones. They do need to be wiped down. You guys know when I do my haul videos, it's just straight from the thrift store to the table. Oh, and by the way, you probably noticed there's paper on the table today. Juliet drew me some art. It is on my table under all my haul. So, moving right along, let's talk about this horse head. Now, some of these horse heads can be worth really good money. This is not one of those that's worth really good money, although it is worth some money. I paid uh, $3 for him. He's probably worth $35 to $40. 
So um, I believe they usually came in pairs. Unfortunately, I don't have his pair. Otherwise, he would be worth more. But he is a nice little horse head. And um, there are quite a few co renowned companies that make them. I'm not familiar with the company that makes this one. And it is not marked. So um, he's kind of a mystery horse head. But very mid-century. And he's kind of got like this speckled glaze. He's like a cream colored. And he's got these speckles. That's what I like about him. Um, moving along, let's talk about this kitty. <laughs> it's a little dirty, uh, but I paid $5 for the kitty. It is made in Indonesia. I know that because there's a sticker on it. Although I probably would have figured it out if I did my research. Um, it's made in Indonesia. Now some of these can sell for like really big bucks, even though they're made in Indonesia, believe it or not. This guy is probably not going to fetch big bucks, but I'm expecting probably $45 to $55 for him um, because he is very good quality, well painted, and that's the going rate for painted cats, believe it or not. So this was a really good buy, uh, surprisingly. I didn't expect him to be worth that much, and I looked him up, and I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> that's kind of nice. <laughs> Um, let's move on to Garfield, little bunny Garfield here. Um, it says, here comes Kitty Cottontail. Now this is a Nesco. Um, I paid $3 for this. Uh, these sell for like $10. So I would probably list it for about that. Um, and then I've got this little Winnie the Pooh. It's, uh, I paid $3 for this one. Um, it's just little Winnie the Pooh. And this is made by, I don't know, it's a French word. I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, it's like an old-fashioned looking Pooh Bear, though. Um, I believe this sells also for about that. Um, I want to say 10 to 15 on this guy. Um, let's move on. Now, this, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, when I was researching these, I could have swore that I saw that they were worth 25 to $30. But now I'm researching them again and they're only worth 10 So maybe there was like a fluctuation in prices there from the last time I was looking up prices till now. But I bought this thinking it was going to be worth $10. And lo and behold, I mean, I bought this thinking it was going to be worth $30. But lo and behold, it's only worth 10 That's okay though. I only paid $2 for it. Um, it is a souvenir uh, Hawaii uh, Stein. Now they make them for like all different places in this exact same design and they all have different scenes on them. They're actually pretty cool. I think it would be cool to collect them. And I was wishing that I could have like when I was there the first time they had multiple different scenes of this Stein. It was pretty cool. I can't remember what some of the other ones were but this was the last one remaining and I grabbed it. But it was cool. So moving right along, let's talk about the pottery. This will be fun. So I picked up these two pottery bowls. Sue talked a bit about them in the video about how this is Raku, but it is an American version of Raku versus a Japanese version of Raku. Uh, it is marked Parsons. I don't know if that is relevant in any way. I'm not familiar with Parsons Pottery. It does have a beautiful metallic design. I don't know if the ring light is going to mess you guys up from seeing that. But I really liked it. I like the weight. You guys know when I'm looking at pottery, when I'm feeling pottery, I'm feeling the weight and I'm looking at the lines. And those are two things I was looking at when I was buying these two pieces. Now what I like about this is I like the crudeness of it. I like that the clay has almost some... Uh, silver metallic to it. it they're just really nice pieces actually this almost has a a japanese raku <laughs> appearance in the in the inside it's got this crackle to it very nice pieces now here's the exciting thing about these i paid eight dollars for this and i paid four dollars for this now what i'm going to do with these bowls drum roll please is I'm going to list them on my brand new eBay site that I started yesterday. I started an eBay. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. Um, I did it because on Etsy you can only list things that are 20 years old. They have well, they have to be 20 years. They can't be newer than 20 years old. 
So you guys know you've seen me pick up the Starbucks mugs, you've seen me pick up a few things that are newer than 20 years old, and technically listing those on Etsy could get me in trouble. So I've started an eBay so that I can list stuff on eBay that is newer than 20 years old, but also so that I can list stuff that I'm not really sure of the value. So that, you know, like this pottery, like I don't know what this would actually be worth. So my solution is to list it on eBay auction and see what it would go for. Um, as well as the, you guys, if you watched my recent haul video from, I think we were in Texas, uh, the Amari vase, that's another thing I want to list on eBay. So I have things that I don't really necessarily know the value, and those are things that I would list on eBay versus Etsy. You'll st you're still going to see a lot of listings on Etsy, such as, you know, the canisters, the horse head, the cat. Most of the stuff is going to go on Etsy still, because Etsy is my main space. I like Etsy. I like the format. I love the platform, but I'm branching out. So these are going on eBay. There will be a link down in the description. From now on, there will be a eBay link. <laughs> so make sure you check that out after my haul videos to see what I have listed there because I will be doing auctions and stuff like that. Um, but moving on to another item that I will be putting up on eBay because I don't know the value of it. This weird thing that Sue convinced me to buy. <laughs> I'm like, what? She's like, that's so Jocelyn. And really, she is right. It is so Jocelyn. It's colorful and it's funky and it's weird. It will, it really is Jocelyn. <laughs> um, I paid $6 for it. It's got these strange teeth and it's got these eye holes. But like, if I, if I put my chin where the chin is supposed to go, like... The, the eye holes are chin level, so I'm not really sure how exactly it's supposed to work. Unless you did it upside down, but that would be weird. So I'm not really sure about this mask, but I like it. Um, so I paid the $7 for this. It's going on eBay. I'm not sure how much it's worth. I'm not even sure if it's African, if it's South American. I'm not sure on that. So if you know in the comments and you can actually tell me your thoughts on the origin of this mask, that would be awesome. Um, it, as I mean, someone in the, in the shopping video suggested Australian, some suggested South American. I'm just not sure about that. I think it is more than likely a souvenir piece and not a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, <laughs> it's not a, a, a ceremonial it's not a ceremonial mask it is probably a souvenir piece but moving right along let's talk about this mug here if mother says no ask grandma it's perfect right um it is a milk glass mug it is not marked on the bottom a lot of the times you'll find them marked fire king this is not a fire king mug it's just a plain milk glass mug but i liked the saying on it <laughs> and you know i actually don't see a price tag on this I do believe I paid either a dollar or two dollars for it. That's what it says on the shelf. Mugs are one or two dollars unless marked. I can't remember if it says one or two dollars. Uh, I'm going to probably ask 10 to 15 for this. I'm not sure yet on that. I have to do a little more research and see where in this, that spectrum it falls. The owl. Now, the owl. I'm not sure if this is monkey pod uh, wood or just regular wood, but it's an adorable owl. I paid a dollar for it. I would probably list the owl $25 to $30. He doesn't have any chipping on him. He's in really good condition. He's kind of mid-century. He's got that mid-century feel to him. And I couldn't really find any other like him. So yeah he's got he's got something going for him i think i'll set him up here with the canisters he can just watch over everything we've got going on here now i have been calling these compotes my entire life and i just learned something new this weekend from my facebook group old things identification learn something new i'm so excited Paid seven dollars for this, by the way. I'm taking the tape off, so I'm probably gonna forget and be like, "How much did I pay for that?" I paid seven dollars. It is not a compote. It's called a wedding bowl, and apparently, 
you can actually set it on its lid. Ta-da! Magic. I did not know this. I never. This never occurred to me, ever. I'm not sure why. Um, but that is a thing, and I guess they're used at weddings so that your guests don't have to take the lid off. It's just for lazy guests. It's so your guests can be lazy and they don't have to lift the lid. So um, if you're having a wedding and you have lazy guests, this is for you, is what I'm saying. Now I paid $7 for this. I believe they sell for $20 to $25 in good condition, which this one appears to be. A lot of the times I take off the tape and there's like a chip and I'm like, no, why is there a chip? This has no chipping. This is good. This is a great thing. Now, I'm not sure who makes this. I want to say probably Westmoreland, but don't quote me on that because I didn't actually look it up. But I do like that. It is an interesting wedding bowl, not a compote. Mm. Things to remember. So I learned something new. Now you have hopefully learned something new, unless you were in my group for that conversation. And then you already knew that. But <laughs> let's move along. Now, this vase... Is something that Sue picked up paid five dollars for this she has plans for this I'm not sure what her plans are but she has plans I think unless she wanted me to list it in my Etsy shop but I don't think she did I think she actually had plans for this vase so I'm not gonna do anything with it right now but there are plans for that it is made in China it's just a vase <laughs> yeah I'm not really sure what she wants me to do with that so I'm just gonna set it over here for now we're gonna move on to these cups now I think these are, these mugs I should say, these are stoneware, I believe they are Otagiri. They are not marked, but I have been informed that they did use stickers, so it is possible that somebody removed the stickers from them because, I mean, that's just something you do when you buy new mugs is you take off all the little stickers, right? These are really cool. I'll tell you why they're cool. Because each of the little tulips are different colors. Like I have a whole set of these mugs and the tulips are different colors. When I have a whole set, I mean, I've got six of them. <laughs> that constitutes an entire set, I believe. I paid $2 for the whole set. So they sell for $5 a piece normally, like by themselves. So I would say for an entire set to sell them as a group of six of them, I would probably expect to get like $40 to $45 for those. Um, selling them as a complete set and they are so neat if they don't sell I'm gonna keep them <laughs> I'm gonna kick all the other mugs out of my cabinet and I'll just use those although they are a little small for me I can't fit much coffee in there so um, they're for someone who doesn't have a big appetite for coffee maybe I'd say maybe like eight ounces of coffee would fit I'm more of the 12 ounce coffee person so uh, moving right along these uh, where Sue's pick, I think they're juice cups, and I paid $2 for four of them. I would probably ask, wait, did I pay? Yeah, no, I paid $2 for four of them. Probably ask like 10 to $12 for them. That being said, I don't know who makes them. I don't know. I didn't research them before the video. I'm really slacking on my videos now. I'm not really researching before my videos. So the whole video is like, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. But I do know that I got a lot of cool stuff in this haul. And it's probably going to sell really quickly because lately stuff has been selling faster than I can stock my Etsy shop, which is a great problem to have. Don't get me wrong. But I'm getting so many emails like, or have you listed this yet? And, and the reason it's taking me so long to list stuff is because once I list stuff and it sells quickly, then I have to spend two days straight packing and shipping. And <laughs> if I just keep listing stuff, it's gonna, it just takes forever to pack it. So bear with me, please. Um, I am trying my hardest. I am only one woman. We will get through this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you haven't seen the shopping video, yet make sure you go check that out um i will put a link to that down in the description and um tomorrow tomorrow's video will be a video of me and sue drinking our starbucks talking about how we met i know a lot of you have been asking how sue and i met tomorrow's the day we're going to talk about how we met and sue has also prepared for you a very special australian fact 
I know you guys love her Australian facts. So she has one of those for you. You're going to really like this one. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to her Etsy store down in the description.